this guacamole, though. That movie sucks, though. But he's pretty cool, though. Ooh, that Pamela Hosa, though. Scott, what the heck are you talking about? What does any of that mean? Well, today that's what we're gonna find out. Yes, we're talking about the word, though. But I won't waste your time because there are already a lot of great videos about this. Maybe you've seen some of them. But do you still get confused when you hear someone say, this guacamole though? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because those other videos do a great job of explaining the word though, but they don't really explain the slang though. But that's why you come to English Exchange, right? For simple explanations, immersion in everyday real English, and, uh, and sound effects. So anyway, let me explain. This confusion, this is understandable because though is like an expert level slang. Yeah, in fact, 99% of native speakers don't even know how to explain its meaning. And furthermore, 95% of all statistics are made up, including this one. Okay, check this out. Let's say that there are three levels of though. Easy and medium though. Now, some people shorten it and write it as T-H-O, but in my mind, that's something a little bit different. Though is level hard because over time its meaning has changed and it's become more of a slang word. So to begin really quick, let's just review the meanings of easy and medium though. I'm sitting over here now because I need more space for graphics. Anyway, in all three cases, though is used as a type of transition. It helps you to transition between two contrasting or opposite ideas. For example, I love dogs. I prefer cats. Okay, these are two very different ideas. And if we put them together with no transition, it's, it's kind of strange. Like, what? Is this person bipolar? No, not bipolar. I'm just the Gemini. And let me get a big like on this video from all you Geminis out there, <laughs> you two-faced psychopaths. So normally as a transition, we use what? But or however. Yeah, and we usually use those in the middle between the two different clauses. Clause oração, part of a sentence. So you can use but or however in the middle or you can use though at the end. Yes, it's true, especially in spoken English. It's almost like you're speaking and you forgot to say but, so you put though at the end. Yeah, I love dogs. I prefer cats. Ah, meu Deus, eu esqueci de falar o but. Ah, o cara não vai entender a frase. Ele vai pensar que eu sou um geminiano psicopata mudando de ideia toda hora. Ah, não. Ué, como assim? O cara diz que ama cachorro e prefere gato na mesma frase? Esse cara é bipolar mesmo? Ou será que é só um geminiano falso de duas caras? Pare de ser indeciso, mano. Though. Oh, yeah, me too. And it works the exact same. It transitions between the two opposing thoughts or ideas. And that is one reason why you hear though at the end of so many sentences. But this is a very simplified explanation of this topic. If you want to learn more about the proper use of the word though, I recommend you go and check out Karina's video about the subject. Very good. Link in the description. E aproveita que já desceu na página para olhar a descrição e se inscreve no canal. Rumo aos 200k seguidores. Let's go. Okay, now medium though. This is the exact same thing, except the sentence only contains one clause. <laughs> uh, that movie sucks though. Okay, what's happening here? He just said the movie sucks and nothing else. Where's the contrast? Great question. This is very common. Sometimes our idea is in contrast with an entire situation, not a specific sentence. 
For example, I might say this if my friends are trying to decide on a movie to watch and then one person suggests the Power Rangers movie. And everybody agrees. So the situation is all positive. Yeah, let's watch this movie. But I have a very different opinion. An opinion that contrasts with the entire situation. <laughs> uh, that movie sucks, though. So I put though at the end of my sentence to demonstrate that, okay, you guys are all saying, yes, let's watch it. I have a very different opinion, though. No, dude, not the new one. I'm talking about the original from 1995. Oh, the original, then yes, definitely we're watching it. Let me find the VCR. Another example. Hey, did you invite Robert? Robert? No way, dude. Good. <laughs> you know, he doesn't even like it. it, it. Yeah, he thinks it's too bitter. <laughs> but he's pretty cool, though. Okay. I see your point, Scott. You know what? Let's invite him. What a great idea, Scott. You're the best. See, they were saying, no, I don't want to invite Robert, but I had a very different opinion. So to transition from that very negative situation, I said, but he's pretty cool though. Whoa, but and though in the same sentence? Can you, can you do that? Yes, you can, uh, especially in spoken English, and especially if it's a very stark contrast, black and white. And if you don't use some sort of transition, well, this is what happens. Yeah, he doesn't even like that at all. <laughs> He's pretty cool. What are you even talking about? Dude, are you even paying attention to the conversation? Who invited this guy? <laughs> Now we have arrived at the final boss, the mysterious though. Real quick, let's see those examples one more time. Yeah, and then I find out she's my twin sister. Mm. This guacamole though. Ooh, what? That Pamela Rosa though. Oh, let me see. Ooh. Mm. She got that big old gap to front lip. Tasty. Okay, what the heck is happening here? Where's the contrast? Your sentence came out of nowhere. Those situations were either neutral or had nothing to do with what you said. Exactly. You see, though has become a slang word used to emphasize or draw attention to something very impressive. But I thought you said it was a transition between two contrasting ideas or situations. And it is. Check this out. When used in the context of something impressive, it's like you're contrasting the impressive thing with everything else. It's like, okay, yeah, everything else in the world is, is fine. But this, this though, this is what matters. Quick internet history lesson for you. This slang word really blew up and became a full-on meme back in 2013. And from then on, on the internet, when you wanted to say something is very impressive, you just follow this simple formula. Dat is meme language for that. Mmm, that de 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 though. Ooh, that jacket though. Ooh, that handsome face though. Ooh, that humility though. Off the charts. So humble. And you can find a million examples of this on the website to knowyourmeme.com. It's like the Wikipedia of memes. So obviously a very important website. Again, link in the description. But one of the early and most significant examples of this was posted to the platform Vine, rest in peace, back in 2013. Let's check it out. Help me first! Yeah, but that backflip though. You see, her purse gets stolen, and she thinks this guy's gonna come help, but then he just does a totally badass backflip. And then she says, he's already gone. To which our hero replies, yeah, but that backflip, though. Essentially, like, yeah, 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 I mean, that's fine, you got your purse stolen, whatever. But what's really important that backflip, though. So 
so looking at each level, we can see how Tho has become more and more abstract, evolving over time, eventually turning into the beautiful slang word that it is today. And after eight years of popular usage, you know, some people have started to use the word too much and they just put it at the end of every phrase. You can just ignore that. That's just another vicio de linguage. But if you want to use though properly, you should really save it for those things that are really, truly impressive. Like a well-made guacamole. If you enjoyed this video, you found this explanation helpful, I just ask two small favors. One, just hit that subscribe button so that you get all of my new videos first. I swear I'm gonna start posting more often. And number two, send this video to a friend who's also studying English and say, Oh, that explanation though! Or something like that. Those are the two biggest things that really help the channel, so thank you. And thank you guys, all of you, for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, dang, that backside feeble 180 out. Spicy. Ooh, that body varial after that manual. Mmm, crispy. Ooh, that tray flip making me feel some kind of way.